Okay, so let's have a look at one more example of exponential decay using first order differential equations before we move or before we advance on to the next topic. So a problem here, when a capacitor is discharged through a resistor, the current I, the charge Q on the capacitor and the voltage V are related by Q equals CV and V equals IR. If a capacitor of 20 microfarads is discharged through a resistance of 3000 ohms from 20 volts, find the charge, voltage and current at time t. So let's draw a diagram first to get a better sense of this problem. So here's my diagram of the capacitor. Let's say the negative side is on the right and the positive side is on the left. So here's my little switch. So here's my resistor and I'll label the capacitor as well. And to complete the circuit. All right, so when we close the circuit, this capacitor has a initial voltage. And when we close the circuit, current is going to start flowing out of it in the anti-clockwise direction. At least we say that's conventional current because conventional current goes from negative, sorry, from positive to negative. And the current will flow until the capacitor is completely discharged. So you might like to think of this circuit as perhaps a camping torch where the resistor here is your light source. Okay, it might give off some light. And the capacitor is your battery. Okay, so the capacitor starts with 20 volts. But as the switch is closed and the current starts flowing, it'll gradually lose that voltage over time. And to make sure that we don't short circuit, the voltage drop across this resistor will be the same as the voltage that's lost in the capacitor. All right, so let's assume there's no impedance in this capacitor. So the voltage drop across the circuit, or the voltage drop across the resistor, let's write that down. So the voltage drop across the resistor will be given by V equals IR. So this implies that the current I equals V on R. Now the current is a flow of charge or a rate of charge. So we can express the current as dQ on dt. So throughout the circuit, this will be equal to V on R. Now let's zoom in on the capacitor. So initially the capacitor has a charge of, let's say Q0 for initial charge is equal to V0 by C. We will see the equation more formally written as Q equals CV, but it uh, doesn't matter. So C is the capacitance. Now as current flows, the charge in the capacitor will decrease. So the rate of change of charge to Q to T in the capacitor, let's write that as sub dQ sub capacitor, and let's write this as Q sub circuit, just to make that distinction. Now this rate is actually decreasing over time. So it will be a negative because it's decreasing, and it's decreasing at the rate of the current. So in the capacitor, dQ dt equals negative V on R. Okay, let me just draw a little line here to separate things. We've also got this relationship between the voltage and the charge through the capacitance. So with Q equals CV, this implies then that the voltage equals the charge divided by the capacitance. All right, so putting this in for voltage, we have dQ dt equals negative Q on RC. Or if I write that more neatly, we have dQ dt equals negative 1 on RC by Q. So this is now the same form of differential equation as we had before, dy on dx equals ky equals negative ky. So we can now just separate the variables 
get all the Q's on the one side and get all the T's on the other side and integrate. Okay, so we'll have DQ on Q on the left hand side and minus 1 on RC DT on the right hand side. And now we can integrate both sides. Okay, I'll let you work through that in your own time, but if I skip a few steps, we will get the relationship between charge and time as Q equals Q naught, so the initial charge in the capacitor by E to the negative 1 on RC by T. Okay, so all we need to do to complete this equation is to find out what Q0 is. So we've got the relationship Q0 equals C, the capacitance of the capacitor, times the initial voltage. So the capacitance is 20 microfarads by 20 volts. All right, so if I be lazy and leave off the units, we've got 20. Now mu is the prefix for 10 to the negative 6 by 20. So this gives us 400 by 10 to the negative 6, which equals 4 by 10 to the negative 4. Or we can leave this as just 400. So we've got a 10 to the negative 6 here. We can leave it as 400 micro coulombs. And this is a little complaint that I have with physics is that we've got a unit of coulombs, which is denoted with a capital C. The capital C also represents capacitance as well. So uh, just be mindful that this capital C is different from this capital C. Okay, so the charge at any time is equal to 400 microcoulombs by E to the negative 1 on RC by T. And actually to further complete this equation we should get an expression for RC as well. So R by C is equal to the resistance which is 3000 ohms by 20 microfarads. Okay, so this is 3 by 10 to the 3 by 20 by 10 to the negative 6. So this gives us 60 by 10 to the negative 3. So if we move the decimal place from here, 1, 2, 3, we have 0 0.06 and 1 divided by RC then is equal to about 16.7. So the charge is given by 400 microcoulombs by E to the negative 16.7 T. So we've got the charge, what about the voltage? Well voltage, we started with 20 and we'll discharge at the same rate as the charge through the relationship Q equals CV. So it's 20 volts by E to the negative 16.7 T. And finally, what about the current? Well the current is related to the voltage through V equals IR, so I equals V on R, which is 20 initial voltage divided by 3000 and this will give us 0 0.0067 amperes. So we have the initial voltage of 0 0.0067 amperes by E to the negative 16.7 T. Okay, so that's another application of exponential decay. I hope this video has been useful for your studies. Please give me a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos that may help you in your math and engineering journey. I'd appreciate any small tips, any help that you can give me will help you, and how to donate will be in the description below. Feel free to ask any questions using the comments below, and until the next video, best of luck with your studies.